okay hello guys good evening from here actually it's morning because I can see there's midnight okay actually don't want to make this video but I think I have to there are a lot of videos that I wanted to make but you know too lazy to create those videos and you know been busy for some time been traveling um, so I'm going to be breaking down one important sweet trait or rather I say analysis and that would be on good uh, right here this is good the before and this is the after so I know most of you guys must be wondering why I predicted the bullish move right there and this was it before also when i posted it i think that was yesterday so um let's quickly dive into the chat and i will give an explanation on the good analysis so i'll go to my watch list and i'll go to good right here then uh, this is it right here on the forward time frame as you can see we are actually getting to uh, actually getting close to the buy stop that we have right here and I was playing why most of you looking at the supply zone I was playing the reason why it didn't play out okay and all of these is most applicable due to the fact that you guys find it difficult to understand market structure so now what i'm gonna do is i want to move over to Rwanda and then i will clear the drawings now one thing i want you guys to understand is that analyzing the lower time frame is not the best thing to do you can argue with that but i know that what i'm saying is a fact and is a way to help you guys out I always say when you want to analyze the market, the big boys, the smart money, they are more focused on the higher time frame, right? And they are long term traders, long term investors. Even when I was watching Lally Williams on YouTube channel, he says that day trading, there's no money in day trading because there's a lot of manipulations and he doesn't make enough money from there. So, um, being a position trader and a swing trader is actually profitable in a way like it really stress from you and you know the high level of patience that you get to wait for the price to get to you um with that you can easily you know when you once you get into the market the trade can run for a long while and you know you flow together with your profit so let's start analysis so this is the monthly time frame and you guys can tell and confirm with me that gold is a bullish market right so if i have to start doing the trending of a thing starting from here high sorry low high low high low and a high now i will show you guys another thing that happened right here and I know some of you guys might say you are expecting a pullback probably, but the pullback did happen. Now this is um, in confluence with the according to the range. Now if you look at the monthly time frame, you possibly just see how possibly the candles have been trading. And if you are also to be using the algorithm range based on monthly time frame, you can see that price hunted previous months low sorry previous months high now if you look very very closely you will see that price closed above that previous month high and it didn't break like didn't sweep that high right then we also do went for another high which is the second month and if you go through my Facebook page, I think there was also a time where I long, 
I think that was last month, or last month where I also talked about a prediction on gold to also go bullish. And let's see if I can find it right here because I think I also made an explanation to that also. So, um, just be patient with me and go through this together with me. All right. So this is it right here. That is on the 10th of July where I made this analysis. Though I didn't explain this one. Sorry for guys. Um, I mean, the promise that I would share this video, but I didn't. And this is the outcome. Then I also shared the long term analysis where I was expecting it to go to that high, that long term high that it swept. And um, that was the first thing I shared before that of the four hour time frame. So here it is. Now, if you look very closely, you can see what a lab bit right here that a demand was haunted, right? Price traded into 50% of the sell side imbalance, but it didn't break a structural. So that was why I was looking for it to go higher to take this buy stop and this buy stop. But what actually happened there, we will see that on the uh, daily time frame. Now, if you go to the weekly time frame and you pay very close attention to the weekly time frame, you can tell that this right here is a consolidating market, right? Right here, we entered a range. So we're having an area of support and resistance, buy side liquidity pool and sell side liquidity pool. Now, going down to the daily time frame, I want you to see the stuff. Now, if you pay attention, price didn't exactly do uh, my expectation, but it went to where I said it wants to because I was not expecting it to come down to this low. I was just expecting to use this, just possibly trade higher and go to that high, but it came down. Still, yeah, didn't break a structure and then it finally went for the buy stop resting on this high and also finally went to this buy stop resting on this high. Now, also, I was looking for sales these areas, so it didn't play out for a long time. Okay, so it was just a day trading stuff. Now, I want us to go back to the weekly time frame or possibly going back to the monthly time frame. Now, I forgot to explain something here also. Now, there are some cases where those that were on the mentorship, I talked about something called uh, even also the according to range prediction and price delivery included together with the quarter. All right. Now, if you look closely, this is the first three months, January, February, March, right? Uh, January, February, you see February hunting January low and with a possible trade higher throughout the first quarter, January, February, March, April, May, June, right? July. Now, looking at all of this now, you can tell that the first quarter is trying to maintain the low of the year. Okay, now the reasons is because when the first quarter trades higher, right, you might be thinking that the second quarter wants to go lower, but you only confirm that if you see a structural break. So if the first quarter trades higher, second quarter opens and didn't break a structure to the downside, didn't break a bullish structure, it means that it, there is going to be a continuation to go higher and it, it applies to the monthly candles and the weekly candles. Whenever you see a haunt on previous month highs, previous month low, you are likely to confirm if there's a structural shift. If there's a structural shift, then it means that there's gonna be a continuation of that price for that month. Now, if you go down to the weekly time frame right here, we swept that all time high, right? And we have another one. So it pulled back, it sold down, right? And that was um, first week, so come with third week of um, July. Then we finally close right here. We see we see this also this week. This week opened trade over a hunting previous week low, but then it go to the second week. 
right which is the second quarter now if you now pay another close attention to this uh, I think I just have to go to paper stone oh uh, let's go back to fresh.com yeah we use this I was actually seeing this is why I switch broker is because of these candles all right if you look at this and you check all under you quite see the difference right there and you see where this candle open they open in line with this so I stopped using Oanda and I started using forest.com so um, let me just take out the drawings so we have this all-time high taken out taking out the buy stops now we put back rows this next week opened the first thing it did was trade higher than traded lower take out liquidity of the previous week but they didn't take the older weeks low now this week opened remember we have been bullish all this while right so this week opened and the first thing it did was this it opened after the opening it traded lower ah this is not working we just did it on the daily time frame so what it did was it opened trade lower on Monday trade above the opening price and then Tuesday did the break structure so that's why I say we're going higher all right that is just one of the simple tend to predict the price most of the time now let's look at the daily time frame now look at this now look at this daily time frame stay with me looking at this did you see a higher time frame structural shift did this market shift from bullish to bearish why would you be looking for sales all of this right here is just a pullback because if i have to start marking a structure though we know this is a ranging market but i saw a bullish structure right here when we have this high this low we have a change of character we have a break of market structure right then we now have this high this right here is my structure now the only i have an older block left here there was one reason why i say we should buy all right we have this other block right here and we also have this favorite gap on a discount but prior to they get to that discount it respected this day the older block right there is a bullish market if i also have to use my fibonacci from this low to this high that is 61.8 fibonacci level all right so it is very 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 important that when you are doing your analysis you have to start off from your higher time frame okay now going down to the forward time frame i know that this is the point where you guys got confused and you started marking a structure right i don't know why you mark this as a breaker structure that is not even a structure i don't know why you see this and call this a breaker structure that is an AR support and I don't know why you see this possibly I don't know, this is the breaker structure right so I don't know why you guys will be looking at this stuff has a structure and I don't know why you will look at this and you call this a change of character right that's what you're gonna call it right that's what you're gonna call it now I don't know how I'm going to explain this so that you guys should like understand market structure a lot. You will only say the market has shifted if it violates a an opposing trend. This is a bullish market of higher highs and higher lows, higher highs, higher lows on your higher time frame. If price trades into an area of all the block or a demand zone and it pushed higher and failed to break an external high, a higher time frame's high. Then it now trade lower to break this higher low. That is what we refer to as a change of character, a real change of character. And then we trade to break that demand zone, and that is what we call a break of market structure. This is a very, very confirmed trade to take. Now, in most cases, after a structural break, you see something like this, and then you see this. 
Now, this is where you guys get trapped and because you're seeing this and you call it a brick structure. Now, the big question I wanna ask you guys is, did this break an opposing trend? Is this high the cause of what shifted a bullish market to a bearish market? The answer is no. The origin of this structural shift started from here, which broke a bullish high, uh, sorry, a bullish low, which is a higher low, right? That is what we refer to as a change of character, a bullish, the first bullish swing leg that was broken, that got broken is a change of character. And then the demand from which that change of character was trying to trade from that gets violated is what we call the breaker market structure. That is why I always say that a change of character does not confirm a, a strong structural shift. We also need to have a breaker market structure so that we can add it, confirm that a demand zone has been violated. Now, most of you will see this say breaker structure, you want to sell from that price, but what you will experience is something like this price respect you, trade triggers your orders, and it comes back here. And so, because of what reason, it needs to be drawn to, it needs to get back to the origin of the structural shift. What shifted a bullish trend to a bearish trend? Right there. And this is a smart money trap. So that would block your synergy as a fake, is a trap for smart money traders and retail traders so that it can become an inducement for price to take those liquidity and mitigate this origin right here. That is the real structure, all right? So assuming you see something like this, assuming you see something like this, and then you now see this break right here. This has not confirmed that price has shifted bearish it's just a pullback yeah we have a bigger structure right here this is the major low all right this is the major low so when you see something like this it doesn't confirm a shift of trend so what price we do is if you like it continue where it wants to go to it continues bullish because of what it has not broken a bullish trend to say that you have shifted from a bullish structure to a bearish structure. All right, I hope that is clear. Understand your market structure a lot and it should all start from your higher time frame. Now, when you get to your chart, first thing first, check out is the market ranging? Is the market printing higher highs and higher lows? Is the market printing low, lower lows and lower highs? These are things you need to pay attention on the higher time frame and then you'll know where to use the aggregate theory range and know when to use your structure, okay? So in this case, we haven't shifted bearish. This right here is not a structural break to say that you have shifted from a bullish market to a bearish market. No, that didn't happen. So this right here is the daily order block that we pay attention to because from this range high to this range low, that is a 50%, right? Right there. Okay. So going down to the four hour time frame right here, price trade deeper into the old block and then it break it. So we use this one. Now it tapped and when you go to the daily time frame and you pay attention to this, you can actually also see that we have a daily order block right here, very short block which is line is having a fair value gap right there. Now this is, this has been on a strong bullish trend, very, very strong one. We traded into the fair value gap to have the older block. The expectation is we would like to see trade lower to break a structure, but it did not for Monday. It did not. We can now go down to the forward time frame. This right here is the favorite gap, the daily favorite gap that it filled together with the daily order block. Now it traded really lower, right? You can also choose to refine this 
say you want to say it trade into that of the four time frame but i'm more focused on the daily time frame now if we trade into a favorite gap and didn't break a structure then it means that the favorite gap is not going to be valid going down to the three hour time frame this is where we had a failure right and there is nothing here that shows that the price wanted to sell this week right here is a buy stop that is where it is an defined hers that is a buy stop okay all right so um if you go down to the one hour time frame right here we can actually see where the market traded into when you trade into the domain zone we shifted right here kind of we click out of like a shift right here we broke this high we traded into sell side inefficiency sell side imbalance buy side inefficiency and it got violated price came back to what this older block right here and apart from that that is not even my main interest my main interest is to see to how i noticed that monday tried to trade lower but did monday break a structure did you see a blue structure that was printed right here that it broke no what we have right here as a structure is this low and this high um it's better i use it to right here this is the swing highs we have high and this is the low and this is the high then my catch rate lower give us a look this right here is a structure and price didn't show that it has shifted bearish all right it didn't break a structure at all now we are also led with this favorite gap so monday since monday didn't break a structure we traded and we also traded below the opening price because the opening price started from here all right so right there is the opening price of this week monday opened and we traded lower below the opening price we came back into a favorite gap and also that favorite gap didn't even push the price lower and that was traded into on new york close right so that was the moment i said okay since monday traded below the opening price and did not break a structure having a failure to break this external low right here then that means we have shifted trend we'll be going bullish that is a confirmation and we'll be going higher and that is it now looking at the two hour time frame you can actually see right there we traded below the opening price after a consolidation when the market opened consideration we trade below the opening price we trace backwards to balance sell side in balance we try to sell lower again but failed and we possibly break that in balance and then took out buy stop on this high this is not a value order block because it didn't break a structure and also this one single candle is a fake out all right so it make it not to be valid now you can actually see how price came back to the opening price right here right there so we are now having an accumulation manipulation and then we're finally going to have a distribution to the upside and that is what happened running down to the one hour time frame this is the order block then it's get respected because it is not a valid one this is the favorite gap if every gap was filled up with buy orders this is the opening price price you turn backwards to the favorite gap that was violated in line together with the opening price and the expectations to give us a high and we'll be drawn to the liquidity which is the buy stop Pressing on this high has this did not uh, break a structure and also understanding also the algorithm range if i use this now 
I can tell that this is a previous week high. So we have previous week high. And this right here is a previous week low, right? So I'll take this off. Thank you. Now, after we mark our previous week high and our previous week low, the next thing that we'll get to do is a Fibonacci from this high to this low. That is a daily range. We mark the 50% and we'll be expecting price to trade into that 50%. So if it trades into that 50% with a structure and then breaks the structure, we can identify until that we'll be selling. Okay. Now, if price trades into the 50% the next week and didn't show a confirmation that it's going bearish, most of the time it will respect the discount because this right here is the discount 23 and zero is the discount. Premium is 79 and this hundred, all right? So price will use the 50% equilibrium balance the equilibrium price, which is that daily um, or, um, favorite gap that was in line with that daily fake order block. You can see how we traded into the discount, right? We didn't even break a structure. So the discounts held the price and we traded higher again. We came back to the second part of the discount and we quickly impulsively trade out of and above the 50% because there is no sell entry right there. Then that tells us we'll be drawn to premium and we take out this high where we're having um, the buy stops resting there. 45 minutes, taking this off. 45 minutes, a structure was formed right here. The first thing was the trading is inefficiency. Put higher, higher, high, higher, low. Structural break. Trade out of this field of the sell side inefficiency and trade out of it. Came back to give us a higher low. Trade into sell side inefficiency. This is now the 45 minutes. Filled it with buy orders. And then we quickly, quickly, quickly trade out of it and deliver to the price. Now, the next thing is to watch it also fill up the inefficiency that was here and we'll see if it will go to the high finally. So for now, there is no entry anymore and the month has ended. So um, if you look at the monthly candle, right here let's delete this you can see how the monthly candle opened through the lower and went higher so now let's go to the weekly time frame so we can tell that is the first week all right first week second week third week fourth week so the first week is the low of the month the third week is the high of the month if we go to the daily time frame, what day was given there? Was that Monday or Tuesday? Yeah, it's Monday. So Monday started off by giving us the low of that week. So this is how you can be using this, all right? If you have the optional bias, pay attention to which week we give us the high and the low of that month. While you are on the weekly candle, you pay attention to which day is going to give us that low or the high of the week why also your daily time frame not identifying which day is going to be you will not pay attention to the four hour time frame the 30 minutes time frame and you're paying attention to your sessions all right so it's just a step by step time and price okay so i hope that this explains everything well to you guys so Make sure you master how you can map out your structure, a swing high and a swing low. And when you can know that market is choppy or consolidating like this one, we don't see this as a structure. So, um, see you guys later on. Take care and be safe.